Hi, I am Rahul, and now I am going to discuss the summary of chapter, the interview of Flamingo book, class twelve. Guys, this lesson begins with the introduction of to interview as a common place of journalism. So, how interview is a very common place uh, is very common in journalism since its invention, and which was a little over one thirty years ago. according to the author of this chapter it is not very surprising that people have very distinct options about the uses of the interview many of the people many of the writers many of the personalities they have their different views regarding this interview and which are presented by the author in this chapter some think that it is in highest form whereas some people can't stand being interviewed an interview leaves a lasting impression and according to an old saying when perceptions are made about a certain person the original identity of its soul gets stolen log kehte hain ki interview ke through uski jo original identity hai usko churaya jata hai usko interview lene wale chura lete hain un logon se so they think that it is not good and famous celebrities writers and artists have been heard criticizing interviews radyard kipling's wife wrote in her diary how their day in boston was ruined by two reporters two reporters ne unki jo life thi usko kaise ruin kiya barbaad kiya and kipling considers interviewing an assault a crime that should attract punishment he believes that a respectable man would never ask to give an interview ye kipling ka comment hai wo chahte hain ki ye interview is the very uh just torture giving thing and that can give the torture to the person so it is the thing which which is just never ask to give an interview to a respectable person now we are going to discuss in this chapter it is an excerpt from the interview that is between mukund who is newspaper reporter and an embalto eco who is writer to yahan pe writer se interview liya gaya hai in this chapter the interview and a professor embalto eco who is a writer He is a professor at the University of Bologna in Italy who had already acquired a formidable reputation as a scholar for his ideas and thoughts. Guys, this interview revolves around the success of his novel. And the novel name is The Name of the Roach. And More than ten million copies were sold in the market, and only the interviews that begins by asking him how Umberto manages to do so many different things, to which he replies by saying that he is doing the same thing. and he further justifies and mentions that his books about children talk about peace and non violence isiliye inki itni sari copies market mein sold ho paayi and in the end that also reflect his interest and philosophy amberto eco he identifies himself as an academic scholar who attends academic conferences during the week wo apne aap ko academic scholar batate hain ya yeah. and he writes novels on sundays jo ki apne class ko lete hue only he writes the novel on sunday and it doesn't bother him that he is identified by others as a novelist 
and not a scholar so because he knows that it is difficult to reach millions of people with his scholarly work and he believes there are empty spaces in one's life just like there are empty spaces in atoms and the universe he calls them interaces and most of his productive work is done during the time वो लोगों के दिलों में पहुंचना चाहते हैं क्योंकि बहुत सारे लोगों के हार्ट में बहुत सारी ऐसे बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो कि कुछ नहीं सोच पाते वो आज भी खाली हैं सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू रीच देयर एंड मैं दैट इट इज नॉट एन इजी रीड एंड इट हैज डिटेक्टिव अस्पेक्ट टू इट अलॉन्ग द मेटाफिजिक्स थियोलॉजी एंड मेडिएबल हिस्ट्री ऑल्सो he believes that had the novel been written 10 years earlier or later it would have not seen such a huge success thus the reason for its success is still remains a mystery now i want to discuss some important questions from the exam point of view so guys the first question that how does eco find the time to write so much eco is a university professor ek university professor hai jo ki academic conferences attend karte hain he finds so much time to write in all empty spaces that all have in our lives just like the structure of atoms and universe and that is only when he is free on sundays what was distinctive about eco's academic writing style so generally academic scholars write false hypotheses rectify them and then give conclusion on the other hand umberto takes the readers through the journey of his research quoting all the trials and errors to reach the conclusion his narrative style of writing made him distinctive so these are the important question if you have not subscribe my channel subscribe it to get the latest update of the videos and if you have any comment put that in the comment box thank you